Okay, here we have 6.5 simplifying a product involving square roots using the distributive property. So we're going to multiply these two together. We end up getting the square root of 3 squared or the square root of 9. And then when we multiply these together, we get 4 square root of 21. See, you can do 4 square root of 9 if you want. Um, at this point, you can use your calculator to simplify the numbers, the square roots, but once they start introducing um, variables, you're going to have to use the method that we've been using to simplify radicals, which involves dividing the exponents by the indices, okay? Indices meaning index, plural, okay? So for the square root of 9, I know that that's 3. There is no square root of 1, so it stays like that. So we're simply using the concept of multiply the outsides with the outsides, so 1 here and a 1 there gives you a 1 here. And then the inside with the inside gave us 9. Now these two terms, outside times outside is 4. Inside times inside is where we got 21. So for each product, you're doing outside times outsides, inside times insides. And then simplifying the radicals at the end if possible. Now remember, you cannot do 3 minus 4 to get negative square root of 21 because our order of operations says we must multiply first before we can subtract. And since you cannot multiply this um, without running into decimals, you leave it just like this.